Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Kyle. In this video, I'm going to show you how I add my nutrients to my Dutch bucket uh, hydroponic system. The Dutch buckets I use is, as you can see behind me, it's kind of more of a recycling deep water culture. Um, my grommets at five inches from the bottom. Uh, I thought it used about two, two and a half gallons I kept in there, but I actually measured it and it's actually one and a half gallons. So, doing all my numbers, uh, my nutrients I use, I use Master Blend 41838. And I got a 30 gallon reservoir. So, if I do 1.5, one and a half gallons, I got 10 buckets. Multiply that by 10, it comes up to 15 gallons plus my 30 gallon reservoir come out to 45 gallons. Um, I do plan to add, I'm going to add four more buckets on each side and a vertical uh, strawberry tower. So what I'm going to do first is I got my gallon jug and my distilled, maybe distilled water bottle. Uh, I have an outlet valve here to where I can, I can open it up and it'll actually run the water out from the system. I'm going to fill this up. And then, you ain't going to fill it up all the way. It's the easiest way i found to do it for myself. You know, somebody, you know, other people might do it differently than me. So I fill it up lower halfway, three quarter. And all my nutrients I keep in its own containers. If you keep your nutrients outside in a greenhouse or something like that, always keep them in like a gallon baggie or some kind of container. So what I do, I keep it in the actual bag it came in. It comes with, bought off Amazon, it comes two of the Master Blend 1438s, a bag, uh, one bag of Epsom salt, and two bags of the calcium nitrate. So with this Master Blend, you know, it's got your nitrogen, your phosphate, potassium, copper, all your good nutrients your plants are going to need. But with the Master Blend, you can actually download an app. For Android, it's MB Hydro Calculator. Click on it, go to Hydro Calculators, enter your water volume. I'm at 45 gallon tomatoes. And it says 108 grams of the Master Blend. 108 grams of the calcium nitrate, 54 grams of the Epsom salt. I'm actually, I'm starting off with uh, some plants I'm going to transplant because I'm a little late in growing uh, from seed. But I'm going to start out about a quarter, about a quarter strength. So if I'm doing 108 grams of the master blend of calcium nitrate, 108 times 0.25. I'll do about 27 grams of the calcium nitrate. I'll go ahead and make it 30, 30. 30 grams of the master blend, 30 grams of the calcium nitrate. And I'll do 15 grams of the Epsom salt. So I actually have some master blend left over from, from last season. But what you're going to want to do is take your more digital scale. I'll just take little clean cups like this. Put it on a scale and turn the scale on and it will zero zero everything out. You're gonna to want to add your master blend and your Epsom salt first. Get them all dissolved in your water real good. I said I'll use the gallon jug here. Then I'll pour it back into my reservoir let it cycle for a little bit, then I'll come back and I'll add my calcium nitrate. You know, just make sure nothing, none of the nutrients get locked out. So we're going to do 30 grams of this. 30 grams of the calcium nitrate and 15 grams of the extra salt. Too much 
30.4 grams. A little bit more. Right on the money. So I'll take my master blend. Take it and I'm going to pour it right in this jug right here. Then I'll do the same thing with my Espen salt. We got 30 grams of the cat or the, the master blend, 15 grams of extra salt. Take my Epsom salt, I'm going to pour it in here with this, with the master blend. I'm going to put my lid on there. Shake it up real good. Uh, my water source, I, I use my just my regular tap water. Um, PPM of the tap water is about 47, I think. Um, I grew with it last year, didn't have a problem out of it. Some people might want to use you know, different distilled water or reverse osmosis or something like that. Personally, I don't see the benefit of buying something that expensive, you know, not get that much gain out of it. Looks fairly dissolved. Another couple seconds. All right. So I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna pour it right in my reservoir. out of it. Alright, and then I'll do the same with my calcium nitrate. Uh -oh. Get it all over myself. So, get my water. I'm going to use a clean cup. Scale on. Now my calcium nitrate, like I said, I'm doing a quarter strength. So I'm doing 30, 30, and then 15 of the extra salt. So it is 30 grams of the calcium nitrate. And two. Take my 30 grams. Pour it in my water. The calcium nitrate actually seems to take a little longer to dissolve. You know, it's a little chunkier, greedier. So we'll make sure we get this one dissolved real good. Because as you can see in the bottom, it's a pretty good bit. The nutrient's still, still chunky in there. Just remember, if you're using the calculator or what the, what masculine calls for, it just it's just going to tell you based off of your total gallons and what it recommends. Like I said, I'm going to start off with a quarter strength, half strength, that I'm going to build, build myself up. Look, looks pretty good there. Eh? Pour 
absorbed right back into the reservoir. Since all the other nutrients are dissolved and mixed in, go ahead and got this one mixed up with the, 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 the water. Now all three parts are together. Now this thing will sit here and it'll, I'll let it kind of cycle through for a little while and I'll come in and I'll check my, my pH balance, my pH reader, and I'll either go down or up, thing where it needs to be. Get all that right and then I'll start pulling my plants and I'll wash the roots real good and prep plant. But if you have any questions on Master Blend or how I've done anything, or if you have any comments, like or dislikes, let me know. And I'll try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Subscribe.